Rupert Lawrence John, also known as Frenchy, of Snellhall St. Patrick, who resided at Africa Mardi Gras St. Paul St. George, retired pharmacist and chief pharmacist at the Ministry of Health, passed away on Wednesday, February 15, 2023, at the age of 86. He was the husband of Ruth John, father of Roxana, Risa, Alberto, Patricia, Abigail and Richie, grandfather of Nikwana, Destiny, Jeremy, Dale Jr., Diana, Nuresa, Ricky and Nyla, father-in-law of Charles Andre Duberger, Timothy Peters and Dale Kelly, brother of Maudlin in Trinidad and Norma in England, brother-in-law of David Charles, Bedell Frame, Ian Canning and Gregory Frame, Gillian, Hermian, Louisa, Aldine and Aldit, uncle of many including Albert, Clement, Carly and Alison. Many other relatives and close friends in Trinidad and Tobago, the United Kingdom and the USA, including the John, Tamar, Noel, Cato, Mathlin and Griffith families, Florence Andrews, Clement Gabriel, Charles Ferguson, the Bain family, Myra Lewis, Reynold St. Louis, Chris Charles, Gregory Hackett, the Jeremiah and Crosby families, the Ranjit Singh and Cox families, Dusain Nayak, Denzel and Newton, the priest and parishioners of the Roxborough and Labry Catholic churches, and friends and neighbors of Africa, Mardi Gras St. Paul's, and Snellhall St. Patrick. The funeral of the late Rupert Lawrence John, also known as Frenchy, of Snellhall St. Patrick, who resided at Africa, Mardi Gras St. Paul, St. George, will take place on Thursday, March 2nd at 1 p.m. Funeral service will be held at the St. Patrick's Catholic Church, Satez, and interment will be at the Churchyard Cemetery. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Lacqua Brothers Funeral Home. Anne Agnes Lallion of Belle Plaine, Mondelez St. David, a well-known vendor at the vegetable and fish markets, passed away on Sunday, 5th February 2023, at the age of 79. Left to mourn are her nine children, Carvel Lallion Dunn, Veronica Loisien and Jerry Lallion in the USA, Joycelyn Paul, Richard, Suzette, Jason, and Nixon Lallion, all in Grenada. Sixteen grandchildren including Kayana, Kedana, Nakea, Shireen, Kristen, Paul, Aloni, and Xavier. Nieces and nephews Magnus, Winston, Jude, Trevor, Steve and Tonya Felix, Angela Redhead, Claire Thomas, Boston, Rajas, Erilyn, Tracy Mapp, and Janice Sylvester. Two sons-in-law, John Dunn and Junior McPherson. Three daughters-in-law, Alicia, Tracy, and Erica. Caretaker, Miss Linda Noel. Three godchildren, Annette, Claudia, and Eslyn. Relatives and friends including Lorna Felix, Jane Antoine, Christine Wilkinson, Grace Stewart, Peter Horatia Brazan of Tropicana, Jean McIntosh, Velma, Frida Greenwich, Mr. and Mrs. Pascal, Tante Rosanna, Macvita Alexis, Sandra Stewart, the Felix, Sylvester, Carter, Horsford, Bailey and Jacob families, Father Ronald Holder and the members of the prayer group at the Roxborough RC Church, and neighbors and friends of Belle Plaine Mondelez, Corbeltown and in Trinidad. The funeral of the late Anne Agnes Lallion of Belle Plaine Mondelez St. David will take place on Thursday, 2nd March at 1 p.m. Funeral service will be held at the Roxborough RC Church St. Paul's and entombment will be at the Mount Airy Cemetery. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Bailey's Funeral Home. Mary Catherine Redhead George, also known as Paul Cockroach of Fontenoy St. George, passed away on Wednesday, 8 February, at the age of 85. She was the mother of Cardell, Camille, Mike, Essen, Rondell, Dami, Simeon, and Errol, also known as Banton, sister of Michael and Floris in Canada, and Util in Grenada, grandmother of 28, great-grandmother of 23, aunt of many, mother-in-law of Adeline George, Leonard Gani, and Dianasi George, sister-in-law of Alston George, many cousins, other relatives and friends including Abraham, Bartholomew, Bishop, Clark, Fawkes, Mitchell, Redhead, Pascal, and Jews and George families of Fontenoy, Montgranby, Grandmall, Westerhall, Victoria, Happy Hill, 
Cherry Hill and Brisbane, the Durant family in Canada and Grenada, the Bayam family in St. George's, friends and neighbors of Fontenoy and surrounding areas. The funeral of the late Mary Catherine Redhead George, also known as Poor Cockroach of Fontenoy St. George, will take place on Thursday, 2nd March at 1 p.m. The funeral service will be held at the Garden of Remembrance Funeral Chapel, Cemetery Hill St. George, according to Pentecostal rites, and entombment will be at the St. George's Center Cemetery. Funeral arrangements have been entrusted to the Quap Brothers Funeral Home. Andy St. John, also known as Bootman, Luckett or Bress, of Black Bay St. John, passed away on Sunday, 12th February 2023, at the age of 61. Left to mourn is his wife, Glenna Holder St. John, children, Andra Dana St. John Wickham, Kendon in the USA, and Kendall St. John, grandchild, Richard Wickham, brothers Reginald Ferguson, Clinton Daniel, and Stephen Lorraine in the UK. Sisters Kathisha Alert, Eunice McPhee, Dale Rubin in Trinidad, Floris and Pamis Lorini in the United Kingdom. In-laws Deanne Dixon Friedel, Dawn Dixon Richer, Camilla Dixon and Kemmer Marshall Price all in the USA. Aunts and uncles including Zilla, Lenny and Ulrich Lorini. Many nieces, nephews, other relatives and friends including Gemma Holder, Faithlin Holder in the UK, Senor Bain in the USA, Patricia Nelson, Cecil Smith, Nurse Bagwan and nurses of the dialysis unit, the Holder family, the Cador families of Grand Roy, Rachel and the boys by the shop, and neighbors and friends of Black Bay St. John and surrounding areas. The funeral of the late Andy St. John, also known as Boatman, Luckett or Bress, of Black Bay St. John, will take place on Friday, March 3rd at 2 p.m. Tributes begin at 1 p.m. Funeral service will be held at the St. Matthew's Anglican Church, Black Bay, and interment will be at the Black Bay Anglican Cemetery. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Bailey's Funeral Home. Jennifer Michelle Marshall, née Noel, also known as Jenny, of Hopevale St. George, a former employee of the Grenada Cooperative Bank, passed away on Wednesday, February 8, 2023, at the age of 46. Left to cherish her memory is her husband, Neil Marshall, father, Jeremiah Noel, daughters, Savannah Noel and Michelle Marshall, sisters, June Jeremiah, Amanda Redhead, Gillian, Nicole and Chatonia Noel, uncle, Oscar Jeremiah, aunt, Doreen Francis, Many cousins, including Lisa and Ainsley. Many nieces and nephews, including Jusilla, Javal, and Mikael. Brother-in-law, Roger Redhead. Sister-in-law, Judy Ann. Other relatives and friends, including the Worm family of Mongelou, the Bowen family of Mongelou and Marianne, Innovative Healthcare Services, Nurse Andrea Blake, Hilary Alexander, Daniel Quashi Blackman, the management and staff of the Grenada Cooperative Bank, and friends and neighbors of Marianne, Hopefield, Labory, and surrounding areas. The funeral of the late Jennifer Michelle Marshall, née Newell, also known as Jenny of Hopevale St. George, a former employee of the Grenada Cooperative Bank, will take place on Friday, March 3rd at 1 p.m. Funeral service will be held at the Calivany Gospel Hall, and entombment will be at the Mongeloo Cemetery. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Bailey's Funeral Home. Corona Lucy Fraser, also known as Caro of La Mode St. George, she was a former employee of the Ministry of Agriculture, passed away on Sunday, 5th February, at the age of 84. She was the mother of Alicia Fraser Hosford, Jacob Fraser in England, Helen Stephanie Fraser, and Andy Fraser, sister of Errol Lewis and Clarice Fraser. Mother-in-law of Gillian Fraser in England and Innocent Wayne Lazama. Sister-in-law of Monica Lewis. Grandmother of Petra Fraser, Portia Fraser, Michael Akimo Horsford in the USA. Akisha Fraser, Andre Allard Fraser, Samantha Allard McBurney and Andrea Fraser. Raquel, Travis and LaShonda Fraser in Canada. Marcus and Donisha Daniel in Anguilla, Marlon Lazama in the USA, 
great grandmother of 14, including Cheryl, Charisse, R.L., Makisha, Michael, Haley, and the Markin in Anguilla, grandmother in law of Dr. Delina Hosford in Florida, and Kizi Allard Fraser. Many other relatives and friends, including Agatha Harris and the family of Lamode, the Sam and Cape families of Lamode, Rita Haynes and family, Michael and Stanley Fraser, Mr. Welcome Ray and family of Kariku, Edge Hill family, Jarvis family, and Linick family, Miss Cynthia Alexander, Matthew Tellersford, also known as Slate, Karima Campbell and family of Lamode, Annie Allard and family, Sylvia Tellersford and family, Sister Nicole Williams Fraser, Sharon Duncan, and Gemma Thomas and family in the USA, the Patrick family of the USA, doctors and nurses of the female medical ward of the General Hospital, many other relatives and friends of La Mode and surrounding areas to numerous to mention. The funeral of the late Corona Lucy Fraser, also known as Caro of La Mode St. George, a former employee of the Ministry of Agriculture, will take place on Monday, 6th March at 1 p.m. with tribute and service at 2 p.m. Funeral service will be held at Our Lady, Help of Christian Catholic Church, Bolio St. George, and entombment will be at the Bolio Cemetery. Funeral arrangements have been entrusted to Bailey's Funeral Home. David Andrew Monroe, also known as Brother of Victoria St. Mark, passed away on Monday, 16th January, at the age of 59. He was the close and dear friend of Janet Fraser, father of Nikel in the USA, Nikisha, and Nikita Paul in Grenada, stepfather of Keisha Bernard in Canada, grandfather of Kyrie, Zora, and Zanaki Paul, father in law of Charlene Paul in the USA. Brother of Geraldine, Marva, Sean, and Sharon in the UK, Alistair, Carol, and Winifred in the USA, Martha in Tobago, Stephen in Barbados, Ruth, Ruthlyn, Peter, Willis, Jacqueline, Beggs, Joycelyn, Alistair, Katie, Rebecca, and Sanita in Grenada, nephew of Ginger, Vita, Maros, and Nathaniel, uncle of many including Donnie, Donna, Akira, Samantha, Nevron, Nana, Avanel, Carlson, and PC Odison Fraser. Many cousins including Natasha, Clara, and Francis Monroe. Macosta Charles, John, Linton, Teacher Jennifer Clement, Jenny, Denrick, and Heston. Caregivers Delcy Philip and Malika Patrick. Many other relatives and friends in the UK, USA, Canada, and Grenada including Jenny Joseph past and present executive and members of GFA and Hurricane Sports Club, Grassroot Football Club, the Football Fraternity in Grenada, Wayne Francis, Dorset McKell, Finley Fletcher, Barrington, Mrs. Clarice Modest, and Julie Dubois, Peter Shala Andrew and family, Taisha Paul, the Monroe, Charles Fraser, Clement, Paul and Mitchell families of Victoria, Glenda Frederick and family, Chester, Alfred and family, friends and neighbors of Coast Guard, Diamond, Waltham and surrounding areas. The funeral of the late David Andrew Monroe, also known as Brother of Victoria St. Mark, will take place on Wednesday, 8 March at 1 p.m. The funeral service will be held at the Victoria R.C. Church St. Mark and interment will be at the Coast Guard Cemetery. Funeral arrangements have been entrusted to Lacroix Brothers Funeral Home. Nazra Lewis of Brazan, who resided at Mount Rush St. George, passed away on Wednesday, 15 February 2023, at the age of 46, left to mourn her, her common law husband, Julian Frederick, sisters Sheena Lewis, Sally and Lewis Haynes, Angela Lewis Joseph, Doisel Lewis Amede, and Catherine Regis in the USA, brother Kelvin Lewis. Nieces and nephews Delon and Nazim Lewis, Sunil Samuel, Deshawn, Shema and Skylar Amede, Delia Joseph, and Ariana Regis in the USA. Brothers-in-law Martin Haynes, Shane Amede, Delvin Joseph, and Henry Regis in the USA. Aunts and uncles Gloria and Joseph Lewis, Laurel, Lorna, Violet, Ledon, and Kester. Other relatives and friends including Cuthbert, Jade and Tiffany in England, 
Senator Claudette Joseph and Nilon Franklin, the Lewis family of Brazan, the Joseph family of Brazan, and in the UK, the Watts family in the USA, Joy and Roland, Nurse Simone Cador, Brainman and Gaia Bernard, Novi Alexis, and friends and neighbors of Brazan and Monkrush and surrounding areas. The funeral of the late Nezra Lewis of Brazan, who resided at Monkrush St. George, will take place on Wednesday, 8th March at 1 p.m. Funeral service will be held at the Garden of Remembrance Funeral Chapel, Cemetery Hill St. George's, and interment will be at the Wilberforce Cemetery. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Bailey's Funeral Home. Tilda Monica Seethal, also known as Miss Bain, of George V Street, Grenville St. Andrew, passed away on Friday, 17th February, 2023, at the age of 91. She was the mother of O'Brien and Lincoln in Grenada, Merlene and Winston in the USA, sister of Louis, Sheila, George, Eric, Norbert, Franklin, Carly, Kenneth, and William Salem. Grandmother of 13, including Brian, Damon, Brent, Sabrina, Camilla, and Samantha. Great-grandmother of four. Aunt of many, including Purdy, Jerry, and Jamie Salem. Mother-in-law of Brenda and Michelle. Sister-in-law of Maudlin Ratchman and Glenda Salem. Many other relatives and friends, including Francis, Miss Florentina Noel, employees of Seathel's Block Plant, employees of Seathel's Imports and Distribution, the Salem, Nayak, Ramdani, and Budlal families, and friends and neighbors of George V. Street, Grenville, and surrounding areas. The funeral of the late Tilda Monica Seathel, also known as Miss Bean, of George V. Street, Grenville, St. Andrew, will take place on Wednesday, March 8th at 1 p.m. Funeral service will be held at the Grenville Pentecostal Lighthouse and interment will be at the Grand Bra Cemetery. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Lakwa Brothers Funeral Home. Darius Nicholas, also known as Zebu and Owl of Kilist St. George, died on Tuesday, 21st February 2023 at the age of 56. Left to mourn his passing are his adopted mother and aunt, Angelica Nicholas Belgrave. Stepfather Martin Francis, twelve brothers and sisters, Bosanio Nicholas, Portia Nicholas, Delia Ephraim and Antigua, Maxand, Desiree Skeet in Barbados, Bricksand, Daria Marast, Christopher, George, Philip, Georgia and Charles, thirty-one nieces and nephews including Todd, Reandria, Redon, Aria, Alex, Jamin, Doran, Jamie, Jamelia, Ramona, Janique, and Angelique. Many aunts and uncles, including Dennis Fletcher, Bernadette Alexander, Nelson Nicholas, and Mary Belgrave. In-laws Jacqueline Nicholas and Albert Marast. Other family members and friends, Cindy, Sanaya, Ezra, Paula, Nell, Nathalie, Juan, Francisca, Nerissa, Claudia, Lester, Patsy, Leve, Anisita, Destiny, Bull, Arlene Redhead, and family, the boys and girls under the rubber tree, all the people of Kilist, the Nicholas, Fletcher, Belgrave, Philip and Duncan families of St. Patrick, Gwove, St. Paul's, the Limes, Kilist and surrounding areas. The funeral service for the late Darius Nicholas, also known as Zebu and Owl, of Kilist St. George, will take place on Wednesday, March 8th at 1.30pm. Funeral service will be held at the Our Lady of Mount Carmel R.C. Church, Calist, followed by interment at the Family Cemetery, Calist. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Bailey's Funeral Home. Sybil Gulbin Matthew, also known as Mami Nodge, of Moran St. John, passed away on Sunday, 12th February 2023, at the age of 87. She was the mother of Brian, Moses, Johnny, Errol, Michael, George, Frank and Trinidad, Cecilia, Shirley, Mona, Alice, Claudette, and Loris, grandmother of 54, including Sean, Harriet, Brittany, Arlene, Steve, Venice, David, Damien, Mikel, Jude, Rena, Janelle, Jimmy, Junior, Jerry, Ryan, Samantha, Sammy, Shalisha, Shadona, Michael, and Brian. 
great-grandmother of 24, including Garvin, Dion, Tyler, Makila, Liam, Aiden, Aaliyah, Isaiah, John, Jemiah, Elizabeth, and Alexander. Mother-in-law of Bob Marley, Michael, Simon, Aaron, Rita, Dorothy, and Zalika in Trinidad. Many nieces and nephews including Lena, Annie, Bill, Toyo, Miriam, Nicole, and Youthlin. Many other relatives and friends including Roger Williams and family, the Matthew, Tika, Ned, and Bernard families of Moran, the Gulbin family of Concord, Alicia in the USA, Catherine, the Merger, Dwarika, and Maureen families of St. Patrick, Elaine Charles, Matthew Stephen and family, members of the Victoria and Guove Seventh-day Adventist churches, and friends and neighbors of Moran, Gross Point, Cloger, and surrounding areas. The funeral of the late Sibyl Gulbin Matthew, also known as Mammy Naj of Moran St. John, will take place on Thursday, March 9th at 1 p.m. Funeral service will be held at the Gove Seventh-day Adventist Church and entombment will be at the Douglaston Cemetery. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Lacqua Brothers Funeral Home. Anthony Benedict Etienne, also known as Sess and Tony, of Lassager St. David, passed away on Saturday, 18 February 2023, at the age of 61. The funeral arrangements for the late Anthony Benedict Etienne, also known as Sess and Tony, of Lassager St. David, will be given in a subsequent broadcast. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Bailey's Funeral Home. Kenneth David Burke of 269 Woodland St. George passed away on Saturday, 25th February 2023, at the age of 86. The funeral arrangements for the late Kenneth David Burke of 269 Woodland St. George will be given in a subsequent broadcast. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Lacqua Brothers Funeral Home. Teresa Joan Noriega, also known as Sherma, of New Hampshire St. George, passed away on Monday, February 20, 2023, at the age of 64. The funeral arrangements for the late Teresa Joan Noriega, also known as Sherma, of New Hampshire St. George, will be given in a subsequent broadcast. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Lacqua Brothers Funeral Home. Bernard Jerry George, also known as Plim and Black Boy, of Crochu St. Andrew, passed away on Saturday, 25th February 2023, at the age of 65. The funeral arrangements for the late Bernard Jerry George, also known as Plim and Black Boy, of Crochu St. Andrew, will be given in a subsequent broadcast. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Lacqua Brothers Funeral Home. Evadne Mary Gill Alexander, also known as Vads, of Birchgrove St. Andrew, passed away on Monday, February 20th, 2023, at the age of 71. The funeral arrangements for the late Evadne Mary Gill Alexander, also known as Vads of Bird Grove St. Andrew, will be given in a subsequent broadcast. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Bailey's Funeral Home. The management and staff of MTV extend deepest condolences to those of you whose loved ones have passed on. Thank you for watching. The Bible, this book, familiar to every person on the face of the earth today, gives us directions for our life. When death comes, there is great sorrow to the family and friends and loved ones of the, pa the one that has passed on. But if we put our trust in the Lord Jesus Christ and we follow the instructions of this book, we know we will meet again. We don't take it lightly. We don't take it for granted. There must be a decision because without a decision, the decision is made to be separated from God. So put your trust in the Lord.
believe. The thief on the cross said, Lord, consider me. And Jesus said, today you would be with me this very hour. And they died together. So put your trust in the Lord. And God bless you during your time of grief and bereavement. Put your trust in the Lord.